What's up guys, Reefer NYC back with another video. And today we're doing a quick reef tank tour, fish only with live rock tour of my cousin's place. He has a few tanks here that we want to show off. But yeah, let's get started on this tank. So we have a fish only with live rock uh, tank. Huge tank, I forget how many gallons it is, but pretty bare as far as the rockscape and just equipment, very simple tank. So if you're looking to do fish only, it doesn't get any simpler than this. He has angels, he has hogfish, hawkfish, and just a live rock. That's all you need for a fish only tank. Uh, he does have the wave pumps just for like extra circulation and motion. Is this one even on? This one's not even on. This one's on for sure that I saw. There we go. I think these are the J bows. Yep, just the J bow uh, pumps. But this is pretty much your standard tank if you want fish only. I think he does water changes maybe once a month, if anything. But very easy to maintain. You get the really nice fish. You got the angel fishes. But yeah, very simple tank. I told him that he should put some corals in here, but obviously the angels might pick at it. So it all depends on what you want to do. You could do mixed reef, you could do fish only. But let's see what equipment he's running. Shooting this all in the dark just because it has better, um, I guess better, it looks better on camera. But he has a sump down there. Obviously it holds his equipment and uh, heaters and stuff like that. I don't think he's running any filter rollers or, or skimmers or stuff like that. Let's see. Okay, so he does have a skimmer, huge skimmer. So filter sock, skimmer, and of course the sump. Um, but very, very simple, minimalistic kind of setup. But yeah, looks really good, looks really clean. I think these are the Carabsy rocks that he's using. But very simple if you're into the fish only uh, fish tanks. Next, we will jump into, this is his basement. We're gonna jump into his other tank over here. You may have seen it from my other video. It was a mixed reef, um, but he's turned this also into a fish only tank but as you can see he's got some dope fish he has the three three moorish idols in his tank so he you already know he has really great taste in fish he's got the purple tang the blue tang uh what else we got is that an angel right there sorry i don't really know some of these fish names but some of them are pretty common we've got the antheus flame angel right there but yeah super nice tank built in wall very nice, just as similar to uh, the other tank behind me. This is live rock with the power heads, Carabsy rock. Very, very nice. Next, we will jump into his other tank, which is in his boiler room. So basically he's turned his basement and boiler room and man cave into a fish aquarium kind of thing. So here's, here's the back of this tank. Um, he was asking me if I should, if he should turn this back into a reef tank. Obviously, 100% put this back into a reef tank. It looks super nice. Um, he's running filter socks. He's got skimmer. He's got a standard glass tank as a sump. And it's pretty much all set. He's not running anything crazy as far as light score equipment goes. But very affordable setup as far as a fish only goes. Next, I'm going to jump into this tank. This is what I call a bare minimum tank. It looks really nice. I'm gonna move that pump down, but this is his mixed reef tank, his current mixed reef tank. He has the Viper Spectra lights, LED lights on top. And as you can see, his mixed reef. LPS, anemones, clams, you name it, it's probably in there. Surprisingly, he does not run anything in this tank as far as a sump goes. I can show you the bottom. There's nothing on the bottom. So basically all he relies on is water changes um, and just maintenance and upkeep with the main display. He only has display and a pump. Obviously the pump doesn't spit out that much water. We just did uh, another video uh, and we took some water out, but basically all he has is, is two pumps. One over there, which is the hiker pump. And I don't even know what that pump is, but that's all he has. And he's got the powder blue. He's got rasses. He's got uh, another ras. He's got the maroon clown. And of course, he has the torches and everything you see here. And we got 
the beautiful Colorado Sunburst right there. We just did a frag of his Weeping Willow right there. And then he has the yellow Fiji leather that's been passed on from generations to generations. But yeah, that's his tanks. Um, doesn't get any easier than that. He has his lights on. I forget what settings he has, but they're pretty much on par with what the current needs are for his tank. But very clean, very nice, minimal escape. You can see, looks really clean. But yeah, if you have any comments, any questions, let me know. Um, he can answer them in the comment section as well. But yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.